Today's video will be a very interesting and different one. We'll be discussing a mysterious force-wielding warrior that we encountered over the Clone War, as well as the lightsaber that he used that was very much one of a kind and in my opinion is one of the weirdest designs that we've ever seen in Star Wars, as well as discussing one of the most dangerous beasts that we've ever seen in Star Wars. In fact, so dangerous that Emperor Palpatine ordered they all be wiped out following the Clone Wars. Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we will be discussing the Ubis Thornback War dragon, the war dragon rider, and his lightsaber. We've covered obscure topics in the Star Wars universe before on the channel, but this for a fact is one of the most obscure and yet interesting that I've ever seen. During the Clone Wars era, a mysterious traveler with unknown intentions unleashed a beast in the populated worlds of the galaxy that was more dangerous than anything that we've ever seen in Star Wars, or at least close to it, only rivaled perhaps by the Zillow Beast. This creature was an Ubis Thorn Warback Dragon. The dragon dragons, as its name suggests, were completely covered in thorn. The dragons were unleashed in the populated worlds of the Inner Rim by an unknown traveler with unknown intentions. What's interesting about the dragons is they most likely existed in the unknown regions of space and unexplored areas of space, and were only introduced into the populated worlds by this mysterious traveler, with the dragons' only goal being to destroy and to hunt, with them holding no allegiance. In fact, there's only one being in the galaxy that the dragon ever held allegiance to, which we'll discuss a little bit later. The dragons were extremely difficult to kill. In fact, the Jedi Order found them too difficult to hunt down and kill. Because of this, the Jedi Order had to formulate a different plan in order to tame these beasts, which was to use the Force. Many powerful Jedi Masters were dispatched to try to tame these beasts using the Force and to impose their will on them. And although it was successful for a short amount of time, no control over the dragons ever lasted, and many Jedi fell to this cause. The dragons were considered so dangerous, in fact, over the Clone War that the Jedi Order's main command was to avoid them. And still, it was the Separatist command to avoid them as well, as the dragons held no allegiance and their appearance was a complete mystery to both sides. During one battle of the Clone Wars, though, a mysterious force wielder appeared wreaking havoc again on both sides, this being the War Dragon Rider, who created his own lightsaber that was red in coloration. Again, the weirdest lightsaber design that I think I've ever seen in Star Wars. This lightsaber had two separate hilts, as well as three blades. The blade was produced on both ends of the hilt, as well as one blade that connected the two hilts together. Something else to know is the lightsaber blades of this lightsaber were far longer than normal, with the exception of the one connecting the two. The individual that used this lightsaber is also the only individual to tame a war dragon, and rode the war dragon into battle, wreaking havoc on everybody both sides. The red lightsaber of this rider, as well as his intention only to wreak havoc, leads me to believe that this being is dark side in origin but we know next to nothing about him, and since he was created several years ago, it's unlikely we'll ever discover his true origin. But, similar to the war dragons themselves, it's likely that he stemmed from the unknown regions of space, and he's likely just a dark side warrior traveling around the galaxy seeking conflict, as again, it's clear he's not a Jedi or Sith in origin, as it's also important to note that he wielded a blaster. It's likely again that this is just a force wielder that sought conflict, and thus was aligned with the dark side of the force, but not the Sith. And again, in all likelihood, he does not stem from the original core Star Wars galaxy. But that was the story of the War Dragon Rider, and one of the strangest lightsabers that we've ever seen in Star Wars Legends. But had you guys heard of the War Dragons or the War Dragon Riders before this video? And if so, what are your thoughts on it, and what do you think the goal of the War Dragon Rider was? As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.